All right, you guys have been asking for it. We finally made a spinner. Woohoo! Uh, the way this game works is you turn it on and you get a spinner up on the screen. Uh, when you hit spin, it will, as you hold it down, it will start spinning, you release, and it starts slowing down. And this is a very useful tool. It's very customizable. I'll go through and I'll show you some of the things it can do. Uh, so some of the things you can do with it is you can adjust the speed. So if that was spinning too fast or not fast enough because every computer runs a little bit differently, you can adjust that speed right here by sliding it left and right. So we'll go ahead and leave it about right there. Uh, you can also change the layout quite a bit. So sometimes you'll want to see the full wheel. Sometimes you want to zoom in and show just the top half. So I'm adjusting that here at the, on the layout buttons. And that's got it. You can see the top half. You can also see the right side if you click this one. And that's going to be kind of right aligned. And you can also change where the pointer is going to be at. So if I go back to the layout here, I, right now I have the pointer at the top, but sometimes you might want a center pointer. You can also have some audio options where you can turn the clicker on and off, and also that ending animation uh, noise might sound great, or you might hate it, so just turn it off if you don't like it. One of the things I love on here is we got some light options. If we turn on the tracer lights, look at that around there. That just looks gorgeous flying around there. Uh, looks really sharp. Uh, we also have some flashing lights you can turn on. Just click that one, or look at that. Woohoo! It looks like a party. Or you can turn it off. The, one of the best things about this though is how customizable it is. So if right down here, I can pick two different folders, one for the wheel graphic, and that would be the, the actual part that spins around. Those are what we call the wheel graphics. And if you pick a folder inside that folder, we can pick any of the PNGs uh, that show up there. So let's say I wanted to have a blank one right there. I can actually take that template and make my own uh, template or my own uh, wheel, my own graphic for whatever game. So if I wanted to go more like a trivia game, I could load that in, I can customize that graphic, put whatever I want in there, or I could even just draw whatever I wanted to. This is done by Brad's daughter. Look at that. That's a fantastic, fun game. And when Brad says customize those, what he says is you can open up that graphic in Photoshop and then make your own graphics. So it does require some kind of Photoshop. But if you don't have Photoshop, there are some options as well. Yeah, and what you can also do is you can hit the spin button here or the space bar works as well. So if I just hold down the space bar, it'll start spinning, and as soon as I take my finger off, it stops. So what we like to do is if you hook that up to a makey makey, then you can use buttons like this, and every time you press the button, it will spin the wheel. So it's a fantastic option, looks really nice. Uh, what you can also do is if you even want to, I mean, just to show how simple this is, uh, you could just pick a, full, a picture, any picture at all. So let's say I wanted to put me, a selfie spinner. You can do that if you want to. And I even just uh, made a couple where I just picked some graphics of some kids and put it in there. Oh, that's kind of a, one I was testing on. Look at that. Uh, so I just took from my phone, took some pictures of some kids, dropped it into a collage app, made it, and then that way I've got a spinner that's made up of kids. So as you can imagine, you can make any type of game you want out of this. It's very flexible. But let me show you in a real life scenario how you might want to use this. Yeah, that's always there. I love that sound. Um, let's go back to the Wheel of Fortune scenario. Uh, let's go ahead and change the, if you had your own event night coming up, you would put one, something fancy in there like that. So let's go back to Spinner. And let's say this works really good in conjunction with some of our other apps. So let's go ahead and fire off the, uh, our Quiz Show Scoreboard app, which I'm not sure if you've seen this, but you can watch the video for that. But I'll just do this real quick. You can turn this on. Uh, you can turn the background off and go ahead and bottom align it here. And all of a sudden, that's looking really sharp. And I might say, you know what? I want that uh, the top spinner to look a little bit different. So I'll change it to the, uh, look at this. This is looking really sharp. So I'll say, uh, I can just use player one, player two. Uh, and then on the scores, $100, every time you hit these, you can increase those, decrease those as you need to. You can turn off the uh, dollar signs you want to and just play for points. This game is super flexible. It's ready to use in conjunction with anything you want to do. Talk about focus. All right. Um, so the way this works, just like if you had multiple apps open, if you have your browser open and you have, my, let's say, Word open, if you have clicked on your browser but then you're thinking you're typing in Microsoft Word or something, or Max Word version, whatever that's called, uh, you can go ahead and type in it. You just have to make sure you've clicked on the right app to be typing in the right spot, right? Well, the same thing this works here. If I want to use the space bar to spin this, it works great, and then I can come back over here and use this. But if I'm in this app and I hit the space bar, it's not going to spin the wheel if I don't have that selected. Oh, and we also have a nice little feature. If it lands in between there, you can just come over here and hit the little bump button right there, and it just bumps it over just a little bit. Right there, look at that. 
bump, just a little bump. No one's going to even notice it, but it kind of helps those kids who are just like, that's on the line, it doesn't count. So uh, it's a great option, great app. I've even made some own uh, some of our own games. We just invented some games to invent to use with the spinner. So I hope this is a very big help for your next big event night. Hey, just launch out. Then you just turn that up, uh, turn that up on and off. Yeah. So if you wanted to, you could actually just have Wheel of Fortune up, turn it off. You're back into this mode. Turn it back on. They can guess letters. Come back over here. They can spin. If and you, you just turn it on and off as yeah. you want. All the buttons here. I need to have focus. I can spin the wheel. I can come back over here. I can add some points. Add some points, and then I can come back over here if I want to. Uh, oh, they got. 100. Let's see. I'd like to, I'd like a, to buy a T, please. A T right there? Hey, there's two T's. Look at that. All right, that means over here you get two T's, so I will give you, and that was, how many points was that? I wouldn't even pay attention. Uh, <laughs> All right, you had 100 points. So I come back over there, I turn that back off. Oh, turn that one off. And I give you 200 points. Beautiful. Nice. Nice and easy. Good times. That's awesome. Good job, Brian. Hey, thanks.